Hi, my name is Scott Kelly and I'm an astronaut aboard the International Space Station. What I'd like to show you today is uh, where we sleep and they are called crew quarters and uh, we have four here along the uh, both walls, the ceiling and the floor and uh, this is a node 2 of the International Space Station. Mine is uh, located on the ceiling right here and I'd like, you, I'd like to uh, welcome you inside and uh, show you around a bit. This is the uh, inside of the crew quarters, and uh, although it's located on the ceiling, because the the uh, floor is by my feet and the ceiling in the crew quarters is by my head, it doesn't feel like I'm sleeping on the ceiling at all. It just feels like I'm sleeping in a uh, any of the uh, locations, uh, normal orientation, I guess you could say, on the International Space Station. Uh, in here, uh, we sleep. This is where we get our uh, change clothes, we do uh, you know, brush our teeth and uh, you know, shave and those kind of things. We also take a little uh, sponge bath. We don't have a shower here on board the International Station, Space Station so we have to use like a uh, sponge bath. And uh, uh, we also do some work. So we have, uh, I have uh, two computers in here. One's more of a uh, computer for connecting to the onboard uh, systems and uh, you know particularly like email and procedures we have a program called called world map where we can see where we are over the earth managing all of our picture taking and also um, our schedule is also on this uh, computer our, our timeline and uh, this other computer here is for accessing accessing the uh, internet on the ground and uh, sporadic and pretty slow at times it is actually a, a nice capability to be able to get on the uh, internet real time uh, send emails and receive emails from uh, uh, my uh, normal uh, work email account if I desire to do that to maybe get on the some online banking uh, if I need to do something like that you could actually even buy uh, you know a present if you needed to um, sleeping is done on the wall here in a, in a sleeping bag. It's a very you know, comfortable way to sleep once you get used to it. At first it uh, can be rather rather difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually really comfortable. More comfortable than on Earth, for me at least. I sleep much better up here than I do in my own bed at home. And uh, So even though you're floating, um, I guess because it takes a lot of the pressure off your your body it's actually rather rather comfortable some holes here for your arms and I uh, sleep just like this and uh, if I don't zip the sleeping bag up far enough sometimes I float into the computer and it wakes me up which isn't fun so I try to get the sleeping bag zipped up far enough some people like to be kind of secured against the wall with bungees so they feel like they're more in a bed. But uh, I like sleeping, uh, just kind of floating here like this. Sometimes I put my hands together, it seems more comfortable. But it's a great way to sleep. I get easily six to seven hours sleep on a good night, but if we're really busy, uh, sometimes less, unfortunately. But like I said, better than I do on Earth. Um, what else are we doing here? We have a telephone. It's kind of like a Skype phone. It's um, you know voice over IP. Basically, just uses the computer. And as long as we have the proper satellite connection, we can call anyone on the Earth just using these Bose headsets and a uh, and this uh, microphone like this. Very uh, very convenient. Some books. Um, well, it's kind of nice to be able to read in space, something you don't uh, really get to do on a shuttle mission. So i got a couple books here, one by my, one of my personal heroes, Ernest Shackleton, about his endurance expedition uh, to the, uh, the Antarctic. And uh, another one called The Long Walk, about a group of people that escaped from a... Uh, a prison camp and basically walked uh, across the uh, continent of Asia to get home. 
I hope you enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the tour here and uh, kind of got a sense for uh, what it's like in our living quarters aboard the International Space Station.